How are y'all doing today? My name is Anima and I have another, yes, another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle for you, this time against Joe. So as you can see, this is an OU match, which I've been kind of getting interested in doing lately. I kind of did this as a spur of the moment type thing. Because I fancied using like a Mega Houndoom and like a Lucario and stuff. Um, as you can see, I chose to lead with my Scarf Staraptor named Agro, while my opponent actually leads with a Scarf Garchomp. Um, so, I promptly shat myself, but thankfully, managed to live whatever attack it did happen to go for, which was a Dragon Claw. Um, which is very lucky for me, because Agro was surprisingly bulky. Managed to U-turn out of there and go into Fender, my defensive wall, who is happy to take Dragon Claws all day, to be completely honest with you. This is a good time, obviously, for me to set up my Stealth Rocks. Very nice, very nice indeed. Gonna get a bit of lefty recovery. And honestly, I'm pretty sure my opponent's gonna switch because they're not really doing an awful lot of damage to me as it stands. Um, now, I really wanted to just get a good knockoff on whatever came in, but thankfully I managed to catch the King Joe, which as I stared at it in team preview, I had the suspicion that it was probably a scope lens, focus energy, Draco bullshit, <laughs> fucking scary nightmare. So I'm really glad I managed to knock off the scope lens, so hi -ya! That was very, very useful indeed. Whatever move it would go for, be it a Draco Meteor or a Surf or a Skull or whatever, I knew that Blunt, my especially defensive Dragology, would be completely and utterly fine to deal with whatever BS it wanted to throw at me, so that's cool! Um, so I'm a bit of seaweed is doing pretty well, and my opponent does decide to perform the outswitch into Bethany. Um, at this point, I was extremely thankful because I did actually go for a Dragon Tail, and that probably smacks this, uh, this dragon in the face, and does a lot of damage, and I'm able to get rid of it, so... Um, right now Blunt's doing pretty well. My opponent is tailed out into Kingdra, and I realise at this point, looking back on this battle, I probably should have just gone for a straight up protect here and got a little bit more Black Slum recovery, which would have been extremely useful to have. But regardless, I mean, I am just, just, just about able to live uh, the Draco there and get off a Vino Shock, which is really, really nice. Gonna be able to put this thing in definite, definite care range from a vacuum wave or whatever I fancy going for, to be honest with you. Um, at this point, I did choose to go for the Protect, just to see what he'd go for. And another Draco it is, which would definitely be enough to take out Blunt, but I decided I wanted to save Blunt for Death Fodder, so I did decide to switch into Diablo, my special attacking um, Lucario. Now, because Steel Resist Dragon, I'm able to take this minus two special attack Draco Meteor just fine. Gonna take it on the nose, chin, face, everywhere. It doesn't really matter. Gonna be able to get off this Flash Cannon because actually Kingdra's not that fast. I probably checked before making that move, to be honest with you, because I'm not completely perfect on my speed tiers. But it is enough to take out the Kingdra. And I went for a Flash Cannon, not a Vacuum Wave, because I did not want to expose um, the fact that I had Vacuum Wave just in case that would come in handy in the battle. Um, I don't want to take an EQ from this thing, it's going to outspeed me, there's nothing I can do about it, so I did switch out into Fender. Um, I was afraid of going into my Staraptor just in case it was packing the rock side and caught me on the switch, and um, being Scarfed, I knew I'd be able to outspeed the Gengar um, if it came to that. So that's what I was interested in doing, I was interested in preserving um, my Staraptor for that purpose. So, um... I know that he's locked into Earthquake and he doesn't seem to be too intent on moving so I treat this as a good opportunity for me to switch into my aggro which would be able to just get a good amount of damage onto everything. My opponent does make the smart decision to stay in with the Garchomp, um, basically telling me they're just going to sack it off. Honestly there's not really any point to them switching out because it would be completely and utterly fucking detrimental to their health if they did. The next Pokemon barring Tyranitar would take a massive amount of damage. And at this point they can't say for certain if I am choiced. Although they probably do have a strong inclination, as most people who run Staraptors do run them choice. Now this is an excellent play on my opponent's behalf. They actually switch into the Gengar to um, bait me into staying in. So at this point I'm pretty sure they did know that I was Scarfed. Um, so they tried to bait me into going for the Brave Bird, which I did. And they switched out, doubled out into the Tyranitar, who is going to take this Brave Bird pretty damn well. I mean, it still does like 40%, which is really not bad for a resisted hit to be honest with you but I am gonna get taken down by the recoil and the sandstorm damage that's the reckless boost coming in handy there 
um, helping the Brave Bird do some more damage. So I'm free to go into my Garchomp, and at this point I did predict him to outswitch into the Togekiss, and um, yeah, went straight for an Iron Head. And this was the most satisfying moment ever. I literally just screamed and laughed because I was like, oh my god, it's dead. It's actually fucking dead. I just freaked out. I, <laughs> I was like in the kitchen and I just like screamed. I was just so pleased it was dead because those things are just so full of crap. Um, <laughs> but Gar Jump did so much work this battle. Um, so when the Gengar came out, it was able to get off a Dazzling Gleam. That's a life orb boosted Dazzling Gleam, and Gar Jump actually manages to live that pretty damn fine. And I'm able to get off an Iron Head. By the way, my Gar Jump is Jolly Choice Banded, so that's really fast and a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. So it's no surprise that the Gengar went down, no surprise that the Togekiss went down, and it's not going to be a surprise that it's going to do so much damage to this Charizard, um, despite it being a resistant hit. Um, I did stay in just to get off as much damage as possible onto this thing and to try and scout for um, Roost potentially or Dragon Pulse. If it had decided just to go for a Dragon Pulse or whatever, then that would have put it at a really low range for someone else to just come in and happily take it out. So it was fine by me regardless of what happened. But I did decide I was just going to try and change my move, so I switched out into Blunt, sacrificed um, sacrificed him so I could go back into Garchomp and not be locked into Iron Head. Went for a Dual Chop here, uh, which I actually prefer running over the likes of Outrage or Dragon Claw, because I would like to have the chance to break subs and I don't really like being locked in, so honestly, um, Dual Chop really appeals to me. And it is definitely enough to take out the Charizard, and now Godzilla, um, the Tyranitar is out. And manages to skillfully dodge a door chop, which is very, very good for them. But I'm really not worried at this point because I do still have my Lucario in the back who is going to be completely happy to go for um, a vacuum wave or an aura sphere or honestly whatever I feel like. And I haven't seen this Tyranitar do any special moves, so my Sand Slash would have been safe anyway. And yeah, it's yeah, it's gone, it's dead. So Diablo managed to round off that match very nicely, which was extremely, extremely good for me. Um, I really enjoyed this match, I haven't got the chance to play OU for a while now, so it was really, really nice to do. So this is kind of a message basically saying that I'm not dead and I'm going to be going back to regular uploading. It was in fact my birthday on July the 7th and um, a very special someone is over at the moment, which is why I have been uploading very slowly <laughs> and not really uploading as often, but I hope you all understand. I am back, I am happy, and I am now 22, so... Yay, I survived, I guess, which is honestly a, a miracle <laughs> for everyone involved. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to more important stuff, i.e. the video. If you guys liked that video as much as I enjoyed making it, battling, participating in it, then feel free to leave a like, leave a comment if you are so inclined. Obviously, obviously, you completely don't have to, but as always, it is a matter of appreciation. And I really do appreciate it. But more important than likes, subs, comments, and all of that noise, I would like for you all to take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye!